Hi friends, in this video you are looking at mud suckers and this is Joel John J YouTube channel. Press the thumbs up icon below this video and if you haven't subscribed, press the subscribe icon and enable all notification after pressing the bell symbol. And this is a very important video in which you are going to look at a creature which plays a very vital role and has a lot of significance in biology, ecosystem, maintaining pH level and acidity and all those and uh, reducing ammonia in seas so we are going to look in detail about this beautiful and important creature so getting into the specification of this video this creature the much suckers or amphibious fish that is amphibious can live both in land and water they are of the family oxoxidate and subfamily oxodiscine which is their scientific name there are about 23 living species of mud suckers. They are known for their unusual appearance and their ability to survive both in and out of water. Mud skippers are small tropical gobies. Gobies means a small, usually a marine fish that typically has a sucker kind of uh, mouth on the underside. And the family is gobiidate. Mud suckers are found in the Indo-Pacific from Africa to Polynesia and Australia. They live in swaths and estuaries and on mud flats and are noted for their ability to climb, walk and skip our boat out of water. The elongated fishes, they range up to 30 centimeter that is 12 inches that is one feet long they have two dorsal fins and their pelvic fins are placed forward under the body either partly or completely fused their bullet heads are topped by large movable close set and prudent eyes and their strong pectoral fins aid them in movements on land out of water they breathe with the air trapped in their gills chamber as well as through the skin. They prey on cretensens and other small animals. And now, what's the main purpose or what the main role these mud suckers play in the ecosystem or water acidity control? Mud skippers can reduce the membrane permeability of their skin and acidify the water in their burrows. Burrows are small holes or tunnels dug by small animals. And you can see rabbits uh, digging burrows as a dwelling place for them. And in this, they reduce the levels of ammonia from the environment. Not rabbits, but mud suckers. Okay. Tank mates. The tank, the best uh, beast uh, tank mates for or blueberries are suitable for these mud suckers, guppy, soft fin mollies, yellow killifish, and diamond killifish. Temperature which is suitable is the ideal temperature will be 68 to 78 Fahrenheit, that's about 20 to 26 degrees Celsius. As with other goby species, mud suckers are tolerant to salinity ranges but are not tolerant to stale and stagnant water. Can you eat a mudsucker fish? Grilled to almost black, the mudsucker flesh is tender and the fish can be eaten whole, including the head. Many tourists comment that it tastes even better than eel. Are they poisonous? Tetrodoxin can affect a person's central nervous system and in extreme cases, death can occur. The toxin cannot be destroyed by cooking and has no antidote. That's, there is no medicine for that. Food poison and even death causes from eating toxic gobies have been reported in mainland China. Or mud suckers could pet. Mud suckers are amazing fish fishes that is ideally for hobbyists of all skill levels. With just a little preparation, the fish is easy to keep and will quickly become a very popular member of your family. How long a mud sucker can live without water? It can live up to two days because it will carry some water on the grill chambers and use that for getting oxygen and also it can take in oxygen through its skin. Can mudsucker be 
kept in fresh water. These species are mainly brackish. Brackish means it needs to be in sea water or uh, it needs uh, some kind of uh, salty water, salt content on the water, even though if it's not as much as uh, salt water. Or fresh water mudskippers live in tidal mangrove forest. So you can also find freshwater variant of mudskippers in the mangrove forest. The mudskippers get their name from their ability to cross the sand and mud flats in great leaps. Leaps means high jump or long jump. Okay, do mudsuckers make noise? Although mudsuckers frequently glump air and could be using the air bubble held in their gill chamber to produce sounds. The author note that the sound continued to be produced even when the fish apparently did not hold an air bubble. They also ruled out stridulatory mechanism. What is stridulatory mechanism? Making a shrill creaking noise by rubbing together special bodily structures done usually by insects and this stridulatory mechanism is done usually by insects and mudsuckers are also able to do that. Do mudsuckers lay eggs? Mudsuckers are air breathing amphibious fishes and one of the few vertebrates. Vertebrates are animals or bats or fishes that has a back bone along its back. That's they have a backbone or called as vertebrates that resides on mud flats. They lay their eggs in mud burrows containing extremely hypoxic water. Hypoxic means the water will have very little amount of oxygen. Raising a question how these eggs surface. So as they lay the eggs on the burrows where there is one which has hypoxic water that's very little oxygen dissolved in the water, there is still it's being a question and a part, interesting point of study how these eggs surface without oxygen. What does a mudsucker eat? Mudsuckers prefer to eat worms, crickets. Crickets are insects that make loud noise by rubbing its wings together. So all those insects which rub their wings and make noise are classified as crickets. Flies, other meals are like flies, mealworm, beetles, small fishes and small crustaceans. Crustaceans. Crustaceans, any creature with a soft skin in several sections and covered with a hard outer shell. Crustaceans usually live in water. The species, and the species that's uh, mudsuckers is known as a walking fish. Uh, another one walking fish which we know is the Mexican walking fish. Okay. Using its uh, protocol wings to move across the land. The Atlantic mudskipper is native to fresh marine and berkish water. So in freshwater also it can live. Of tropical Atlantic coast of Africa. How often would you feed a, would you feed a, feed a mudsucker? That's how often you have to give food. They seem to prefer live foods, although they will also consume frozen blood worms, freeze dried skrill, skrill or very small shellfishes that live in the sea around Antarctic. And f fish would be fed three to five times a week depending on its size and uh, don't think that smaller ones will consume less, they consume more. But suckers could be fed on the place of uh, flies, worms, etc. and surface above the water levels. Do much skippers sleep? Yes, they do sleep and even uh, they <laughs> much suckers sleep, you know, open on or in the mouth of a crab hole. Even if you gently touch, they will, own, they will feel uh, like as they are asleep, they won't move. Do mudsuckers jump? Yeah, mudsuckers jump and with the intention to attract their female counterparts, they jump. So now we are almost on the end of the video. And to know some interesting things about these uh, mudsuckers, they are amphibious and they are also called as walking fishes. And uh, we have also seen one another one uh, walking fish which is called as the Mexican walking fish. And we have that video on uh, the playlist as well. I will put that one on the end of this uh, video and that's called as Axeloti. Uh, that video also, I will put it on the end screen so you can have a look at that as well. On that, I haven't given a lot of you know information about the creatures. Now I am making videos with the information about these creatures. If you want more videos like that, please comment on the comment box so that you know I will spend time and make those kind of videos as well. And also share your feedbacks, what are the areas I can improve. As many said that my voice is not good, I am now using a voice changer to speak on videos. 
which uh, have other creatures but on my own videos i don't have, i haven't found that option so if i get there i will also do that so please press the thumbs up icon ask your friends to watch joey john ji youtube channel share it through their whatsapp or other social medias by pressing the share icon below ask them to watch all my videos press the thumbs up command and share it with their friends and make it as a chain reaction if you are rich rich you can use the joining option to give a monthly contribution or special th thanks to give a one time contribution same to say by joey john ji saying bye